absence was necessary. Why? Why was this so damn necessary? I needed to heal. That's it? That's your excuse? Scarecrow told me he was training a possible successor. Assuming that's even true, you didn't think that that was something that I deserved to know about? I'm sorry! Well, your apology doesn't help me, Bruce! One of the ever-changing facets of Batman is his relationship with Jim Gordon. In the past, their relationships have been portrayed in several ways. We've seen the Gordon who's entirely dependent on Batman in the 60s show and the Burton and Schumacher movies. We've seen in the animated series they had a distant working relationship with a Gordon that was capable of apprehending suspects but still relied on Batman to solve the case and save him from time to time. The Nolan films showed a close working relationship, wherein each of them saved the other on at least one occasion, and Gordon majorly contributed to taking down the main villains. In our show, Batman and Gordon are equal forces in their own right, who are interdependent. When Bruce began as Batman, he saw that Gordon, who at that time was a sergeant, was the standout cop in Gotham. On the other hand, Gordon was initially reluctant of Batman, thinking that he was crazy and naive. At the same time, Jim and Bruce Wayne became acquainted through Bruce's charitable work for the city and for the police force. Although at first skeptical of Wayne's philanthropic gifts, Gordon realized that Bruce was genuinely interested in helping Gotham and not asserting his own interests. Over Bruce's 15-year stint as Batman, he and Gordon slowly built trust with one another, and even became great friends. Whether it was gathering evidence, solving a case, or catching a suspect, Gordon and Batman's contributions were always equal. They also regularly kept each other in check on what was legal and illegal, and moral and immoral. Gordon never cared to find out Batman's true identity, despite several of his squad obsessed with doing so. Nonetheless, because Gordon saw both Bruce and Batman so often, eventually he naturally deduced that they were the same person. Privately, Gordon and Bruce are friends. Hanging out in public would have raised suspicions about who Batman is, since most of Gotham's police knows that Gordon frequently corresponds with Batman. That relationship alone has had Gordon on thin ice with the GCPD ever since they found out about it ten years ago and it only worsened when he became commissioner five years ago. But Gordon knew that Bruce knew things about criminals that the others didn't. Through the years, Gordon tolerated but slowly grew weary of his comrades, always complaining that Batman is a threat to their jobs and the crime epidemic, when they did little to nothing to improve as detectives or put their life on the line to fight crime. When Batman disappeared, Gordon was devastated. His world flipped. His only friend was no longer around, and he had no idea when or if Batman would ever show up again. When they reunite after Batman's three-year absence, Gordon doesn't even know why he vanished. Gordon's confused and furious. On the other hand, Bruce trusted Gordon to keep the criminals at bay while he was gone, so he himself is furious that crime is worse than ever in Gotham. Still, Bruce knows that explaining to Gordon that he took three years to train is not enough to smooth things over, and he fears that their relationship will never be the same. Join us next week as we tell you more about these characters and the actors who play them. <laughs>